So let us do the volume of a hex pyramid. All right, volume, it's a pointy thing. Or the other way to know it, it's got one base. Area of the base times the height divided by three. Our base is the hex. They don't give us the area of the hex. We gotta find the area of the hex. We can do that. Little trig, little Pythagorean theorem, we got it. Height of the shape is not 15. The height of the shape goes to the peak perpendicular to the base. And if this is a regular base, a regular shape base, um, you know, equilateral kind of thing, it will go to the center of the base. If it is not regular and kind of skewed, it's going to be off center. But we don't have to deal with that usually. That's for later on, for more advanced stuff. Ours is going to be regular. Um, well, there we go. This is what we need. That green line. Well, that green line is made up of a, it's part of a right triangle. Again, it's perpendicular to the base, so it's part of a right triangle. Just got to find the right triangle. Well, the right triangle involves this thing, which looks amazingly enough like the 15 that was the slant height of our other thing, of our previous picture. Here is what we don't have. That part. That's not given to us. But what that is, that's actually the height of that triangle that is the hex. So we got to find the area of the hex. I mean, that's obviously. So we're going to find that black line by finding a solving a hex. All right, so let's solve a hex. Again, break into triangles. We know this whole thing, what was it, 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the height of our triangle in our hex. That is also the line we need to solve for the height of our shape. All right, uh, since it's regular, oh wait, yeah, uh, this is 60 degrees because it's regular. I got six angles, I got 360 divided by six. Gets it 60 degrees. Uh, because it's regular, we're going to bisect it. Well, we're doing that because we can only work with right triangles. You know, we got Pythagorean theorem, we got trig. You know, we can work with the right triangles. We got stuff to deal with right triangles. Um, that's five. That's thirty. We need that opposite adjacent tangent. You know, that's how fast you want to be able to get with that. Tangent thirty is the opposite, which is five, over the adjacent. So we have to solve for h. Let's cross multiply. h times tan 30 equals 5. Get everything away from h, which is tan 30. So divide by tan 30. Remember, tan 30 is just a number. It's one thing. Um, h equals 5 divided by tan 30, which is 5 divided by... And 30. 8.66. Awesome. Wonderful. Bueno, bien. All those things. 8.66. So we can now find the area of our hex because we need that to find the volume of a shape. Because that's our base. So triangle, one half base times height. So one half base is ten, height is eight point six six. Uh, five times eight point six six. Come on, calculator, turn for me. Uh, five times eight point six six is forty three point three centimeters squared. Um, but that's just one triangle. We got six of them. 
259.8 is the area of our base, the area of our hex. So let's bring that back out front. So we are at 259.8 centimeters squared. We need to multiply that by the height of the shape and divide by three. Again, the height of our shape is this blue line here. Again, that blue line is gonna be made up of that and that. That's 15. We solved for this because this is the height of our triangle in our hex. That was the 8.66. We can find that blue line by uh, Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is C squared. Um, I'm going to call the blue line A. So A squared plus 8.66 squared equals 15 squared. Be careful, 15 is the slanted part. It is the hypotenuse of our triangle. So 225. We've got an 8.66. 74.99, which is, you know, pretty much 75. I'd have to go out to like five decimal places to have it be anything other than that. So A squared, go subtract 75. A squared equals uh, 225 minus 75, what, 150? So I need the square root of 150. Right, 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 right. 12.25. Awesome, we just found the blue line. Height of our shape, 12.25. 12 12.25. 12 A little Pythagorean theorem, little trig. Yeah, it's involved, but you know this stuff. Now just put it together. 259.8 times 12.25 equals, divide by 3 equals 1060.85 centimeters cubed. That is our volume. Yeah, we had to do a little Pythagorean theorem trick. They're not going to give you every single number. That's why it's a problem for you to solve. Now, if you design these things, like you're going to design a pyramid that holds a certain amount kind of thing, you cannot randomly pick the 10, the 15, and the 12 and a quarter. You can pick two of those, but that third one has got to be a certain size because of Pythagorean theorem and trig. So be careful when you're designing.